I want to take you for a short walk through Illinois history. Senator Peter Fitzgerald, the finest U.S. Senator to ever come out of Illinois, retired in 2004 after just one term. He retired because his own Republican Party turned on him and promised to fund another candidate to run against him and promised to do all they could to defeat him. That candidate was none other than Andy McKenna. Now, why would the Illinois GOP do such a thing against an incumbent? That's because this particular senator was his own man, a true servant of the people, who based his vote on what was best for America. He wasn't a lackey for his party, did not push pork home, and did not give special interest the time of day. That got him in trouble with the Illinois GOP party. Peter Fitzgerald was a principled man. He proved over and over again to be that rare Washington commodity in one term. For that, he was attacked from within. So what stands did Peter Fitzgerald make to cause such a betrayal from his own party? He opposed federalizing Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Congress, under Denny Pork Hastert, approved the $13 billion deal without any input from local Illinois residents, who would have had their homes bulldozed. He was the only senator in the U.S. Congress to vote against the $15 billion airline bailout, even though United Airlines is based in Illinois. Fitzgerald next earned the wrath of fellow Republican and Speaker of the House Denny Hastert by refusing to support efforts to secure a glut of federal funds for the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library located in Illinois. Hastert pulled rank to secure the money and Fitzgerald criticized Hastert publicly. Fitzgerald had many run-ins with Hastert over his six years term. One can only guess that Speaker Hastert's disgust with Fitzgerald's principles refusal to play a game Hastert himself had mastered. Wasting taxpayer dollars on needless home district pork barrel projects. Remember, Hastert was Speaker of the House. He set the agenda. From 2000 to 2006, Hastert spent money like a Democrat and bloated government. Forget the affable high school wrestling coach image. Hastert was the chief rhino in Washington. Senator Fitzgerald's final sin was to nominate someone outside the state to serve as U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, based in Chicago. Well, instead of rewarding someone who helped him win election, as they normally do, Senator Fitzgerald was more concerned about the ongoing investigation of then-governor and fellow Republican George Ryan and wanted to ensure an aggressive prosecutor, independent of local politics, was assigned to the case. So Peter Fitzgerald went out of state and selected none other than Patrick Fitzgerald, who has no relation with our Senator Fitzgerald, and who indicted Ryan and more recently Governor Blagojevich on corruption charges. This is part of Senator Peter Fitzgerald's ongoing legacy. Senator Peter Fitzgerald was the greatest senator to ever come out of Illinois, and yet our own state GOP party opposed him and prevented him from running for a second term. We need a lot more Peter Fitzgeralds in our government today, and a lot more Patrick Fitzgeralds as well, if you ask me. Besides paying an overdue tribute to a great man today, I wanted to demonstrate the level of corruption our Illinois Republican Party has demonstrated over the years. Two decades ago, then-Governor Jim Thompson pushed a bill through that effectively stripped all Republicans statewide from having any say over who runs the state party. Immediately, accountability was lost. We've seen Illinois go from a red state to a blue state. We've seen our finest senators run out of office. We've seen our party officials support rhino candidates. We've seen the very destruction of the real Republican Party in Illinois. However, there is hope on the horizon. Another great man who has faced his own share of pressure from our state GOP, Senator Chris Lawson, has introduced a bill in the Senate called Senate Bill 600, which would once again restore our ability as Republicans to choose who runs our party in Illinois? Accountability is coming back, folks. However, Andy McKenna opposes SB 600, as well as 18 of the 19 Central Committeemen. 
They are pressuring our elected officials to vote against SB 600. In fact, Andy McKenna has stated if the bill does pass, he will take it to court. Isn't that ironic? The Republican Party of Illinois using our own donations to deny us the right to vote members of the Central Committee and the General Party. I emailed some members of the committee and Andy McKenna requesting an interview on SB 600. Needless to say, I have not gotten one response. If you want a real eye-opener, visit championnews.net. They have been on top of this for years. Folks, hasn't enough damage been done to our party? Hasn't enough good people paid a huge price for standing up for true conservative principles? Support SB 600 by contacting all your representatives today. Your voice matters. Get your rights back. Get your party back. And let's ensure what happened to Senator Peter Fitzgerald can never happen again to any upstanding patriot. It all starts by supporting SB 600.